Hey guys, today we gonna talk about a rat. Not this rat. But computer rat. Remote access Trojan or rat is malware an attacker uses to gain full administrative privileges and remote control of a target computer. Rats are often downloaded along with seemingly legitimate user requested programs, such as video games, or are sent to their target as an email attachment via a phishing email. Once the host system is compromised, intruders use a backdoor to control the host, or they may distribute rats to other vulnerable computers and establish a botnet. History of RAT While the full history of remote access Trojans is unknown, these applications have been in use for a number of years to help attackers establish a foothold on a victim's PC. Well-known and long-established remote access Trojans include the Sub-7, Back Orifice, and Poison Ivy applications. These programs date to the mid to late 1990s and can still be seen in use to this day. Why are remote access Trojans dangerous? Cybersecurity teams often have difficulty detecting rats because they generally don't appear in running tasks or program lists. Rats commonly perform actions similar to those of valid programs. Also, an attacker will manage the level of resource use so that there is no drop in performance, making it more difficult to notice the threat. A rat is typically deployed as a malicious payload using exploit kits, such as Metasploit. Once installed, the rat gets connected to the command and control server, which the hackers control. The hackers achieve this connection by compromising an open TCP port on the target device. The following are some ways a rat can endanger users, systems and organizations. Number 1. Spying and blackmail attempts. By deploying a rat, Threat actors can gain access to the victim's smartphone camera and microphone and compromise their privacy. They can take pictures of users and their surroundings to carry out further attacks or blackmail users into some type of agreement, such as providing ransom money or top-secret data. Number 2. Remote file storage. Attackers can leverage RAT to store illegitimate content on the devices of unsuspecting victims. This way, authorities cannot shut down the attacker's account or storage server, because their data is stored on devices belonging to legitimate users. Number 3. Distributed denial of service attacks. Rats deployed on a large number of devices can be used to carry out a DDoS attack by flooding a target server with forged traffic. Although a DDoS attack may cause performance degradation, users are typically unaware that their devices are being used to carry out such attacks. How to avoid getting infected. If you want to avoid rats, don't download files from sources you can't trust. You shouldn't open email attachments from strangers, or potential employers, you shouldn't download games or software from funky websites, and you shouldn't torrent files unless they're from a reliable source. Keep your browser and operating system up to date with security patches, too. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.